Hello everyone and welcome to another day of reviews. Uh, today it is a review of a uh, Doctor Who character building set. Um, which as far as I know this company itself was a branch of uh, the BBC so you know they're making it themselves. Um, so so here's the set. Uh, do I like Doctor Who? No. No I couldn't care less about Doctor Who. Uh, do I like these building sets? Well I, I don't ca I like Lego but this isn't Lego, but I looked at the set and thought it was pretty cool. Um, also, from one of the uh, survey sites where I do paid services, there was a uh, random extra thousand points, which was an Amazon voucher, and I thought, oh, it would be nice to get some sort of weird laboratory and lots of ice kind of bricks. And uh, hopefully these bricks would be uh, more decent enough, um, at least to the quality of, say, Mega Blocks. To the box, it's, it feels really full. So this is box entire. There's, there's no how much empty space in there. Um, there's the logo there. There's this BBC logo there. It says five plus. It's got a picture of two figures. There's a Cyberman and God knows who that is. Um, I don't have to say that these figures, the legs, just look horrible. Uh, big Doctor Who logo there. The new Doctor Who. Uh, it says two hundred and thirty-two bricks. There's a website there. Um, this set reminds me of something like from Doom, if it, it, it wasn't so blue. Uh, but, you know, the blue is nice, so it's nice to have ice. Ice is cool, literally. On the back you get a bigger picture of the uh, set, and a few things within the set. Um, tagline, you must be upgraded. I, I've never seen the show, so my brother will probably know more, because he loves Doctor Who. Uh, does this includes too many figures? Oh, it's a space captain. And features... Um, Oh god, I can't read this. Um, chip, chip, uh, cyber conversion machine arms, with a conversion belt with restraining arms. Okay, fair enough. Um, out of all things considered, there's something uh, quite dark for Doctor Who, uh, I believe. Uh, on the top, you get another picture of the minifigure, the same sort of two circles and the logo. On the side, you get a logo here. Oh, it's made by Kobe as well. That's not a good sign. Uh, on the bottom you get all the uh, warnings. Uh, sad onion head, uh, zero to three years old, and recycling picture and warnings and so on. Company address, blah blah blah. And on the other side you get a picture of the too many figures and a little sticker that sticks the box here. The box is uh, not you know, cardboard. It feels like um, thick cardboard that you get from uh, parcels and boxes, uh, like like this. This is that's two layers kind of box. Uh, so I got this from Amazon for a thousand five hundred points from all these survey sites. I do it. So if if I didn't um, have that voucher, I wouldn't buy this. Uh, so uh, I'll open it up and see what's inside. So I just get my uh, scissors here, which also is a nutcracker. Bottle opener, peeler, and can opener. <laughs> hey. So you see the box is indeed quite full and first view of the plastic. Um it it doesn't feel brittle, um it feels quite good. Uh, there are some molding lines I can notice already. Um <clears throat> but it's always nice to have big sort of pieces of base plate, just you know, they're really expensive from Lego. Uh, and everything is individually bagged just like all the other building good building sets. Um just like Lego, you got different plastic bags. This is more like one of the McDonald's plastic bags. Um, and just like Lego, the uh, minifigure parts are in different parts of the bag. So I uh, built this set, and uh, yeah. Another thing I have to notice it. Well, first of all, you got all these pieces uh, open, open, open up from their bags, which I still think, just like Lego, is really excessive. There's so many bags. I mean. Look at it. That's a lot of plastic wasted there. Just, uh, uh, but 
the uh, the minifigures are housed in their individual bags. For some reason, the space captain is already assembled, but not the Cyberman. Uh, but Lego can learn something from here. Mega Bloks puts their figures away from the brick so they don't get damaged, and so does this company. Except these bags are really big, so Mega Bloks wins here still because they only use minimum plastic to house the figures, uh, so that's less waste of figures. And of course, you have the uh, instructions manual, which is fully colored. Um, unlike the other ones, there's no minifigure assembling sort of instructions on the first page, which is fine really because you really need instructions for those. Uh, the instructions are quite clear, they're all sort of digital pictures, images of the uh, set, and they look quite clear. They look just like Lego instructions. Um, uh, back of, at the last page, you get a few sort of fully assembled pictures and a list of all the pieces you get in the set. And on the last page, you get more company company names and warnings and logos and whatnot, same as you get on the box. Okay, while well, building this set, I want to point out a few things. Right off the bat, you notice that the quality is nothing like Lego. Um, it might be a tad bit worse than, say, even Mega Blocks. Why? Well, look at it, it's on the flat oh, I'll put the manual back, but it's on the flat surface, but look at it. The pieces are already warped beyond the measure. It just, I haven't even finished building this thing, but just the platform is on page one, and already it's already come up way up. So, yeah, if you think about quality of these things, eh, um, the pieces do stick together really nicely so far. Um, two pieces were a bit tough to sort of push in, but feel a bit squidgy. But other than that, it is coming together, uh, except for, well, it's not flat, so if you want a spinning laboratory, there you go. And I also want to point out some of the uh, different pieces. Uh, for example, this one here, it's like around a quarter of a circle, uh, but it has a sort of square area underneath and on top of it. And that fits in like so, just on top of the uh, 6x4 sort of flat plate. So that, that's that's like a different kind of piece. And yeah. So newer pieces there. Um, also different pieces like this little sort of bed piece. Um, some of the tools look. I mean, tools look similar, but because they're not, they're, they are different. If I can get them in the camera. Also saw these arm pieces look quite different. While building the set, uh, I've noticed more and more pieces. have uh, little molding lines sticking out of the uh, side. And also lots of little sort of molding marks on the plastic itself, so you get lots of they're not scratches, but they look like they are scratches. Uh, the pieces still holding together quite tightly, so so you know they're a good fit, except there's lots of well, marks on them. Um, and of course, uh, they're these ice pieces, which I think are similar to the rock pieces on the other Doctor Who set. Uh, they they do look pretty cool. Uh, and they have sort of studs popping out on sort of 90 degrees angles, so you have them sideways or up, and people will be able to walk on them. So yeah, these these are good pieces to uh, have for animation. So that's the set built. Um, overall, it, it it looks nice. Uh, the set itself, it could be from you know not necessarily a Doctor Who sort of background. Uh, these little plastic rubbery cable things uh, sort of hold all of these movable parts together, like so. Um, so, you want to open that up, you gotta do that. Um, I noticed that these two pieces are quite flimsy and can snap off quite easily, so that's not, not too good. Um, plus, this one has one of those rubbery cables there which push this slightly out of the alignment so it's not straight on the top uh, this little elevator thing here it, it, it doesn't 
really stay in place. Well, sometimes it does, but if you put too much on it, it won't, obviously. Because there's nothing holding it up. Uh, this crane thing works okay. And it'd be nice if this piece was clear because that's where the Cyberman sits and we can't see anything like that, surely. Um, so yeah, this set looks okay. Um, it's quality-wise, I'd say it's it's a bit lower than Mega Blocks, but it's just one step away from being crappy. So it's not crappy; it's just not as good. Um, just a close look at the uh, minifigures. There's a the head is molded to well, a head shape and the pupils are painted, the eyeballs are painted, so the face is all there. Uh, torso is simple but it does get the job done, it is, it is what it is. Uh, the figure feels nicer than the actual set, so the quality of the figure is okay. Um, the shoes are different colour, the, the feet are what bugs me the most. I just don't like the way these feet look. Um, this looks like they're all sort of 70, 60s or 60 hippies or 70s. Well, you know, they look like shaggy pants. Um, the uh, the way the torso joins the legs is one stud, which allows the uh, torsos to spin around, which is a good thing. Um, it's the uh, Simon Man. His his head's molded quite well. Um, everything's quite tight. No loose joints so yeah the figures are better than the uh, actual set which is good I guess because you know people probably collect these more than the actual sets that's why you get all these Doctor Who sort of figure box sets as you can see here the uh, sort of Lego head fits nicely on the uh, torso here uh, but on the other hand, the uh, Doctor Who heads are really tight on the uh, Lego heads, meaning that the whole of the uh, Doctor Who heads are slightly smaller than the uh, Lego heads. For size comparison's sake. Standard sort of human being is slightly uh, Taller than Lego. Uh, these they don't just make Doctor Who sets. They also make some sort of like army sets, which are going to be pretty similar, I imagine. So that's the uh, Doctor Who set. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, personally, I uh, would recommend it. Uh, yeah, some of the pieces look quite nice. Sort of these size pieces and figures themselves. If you like Doctor Who, you definitely want to collect them. Uh, but if you don't care for Doctor Who and you're just a casual brick collector, I'd say no. If you're looking for a set to film some sort of weird experiments, I'd say go ahead. Uh, check out my Facebook website, shopping site, and uh, have a nice day. Take care.